So-called no-go zones, where it's too dangerous to enter without police protection, have become a pivotal problem in Sweden. That's what the head of the country's ambulance union told us here at RT. These no-go zones, all these areas, uh, there are about uh, just over 50 areas in Sweden uh, that are uh, that has uh, bigger problems, and uh, maybe five or ten of them are uh, high-risk areas, uh, what we would call uh, no-go zones, uh, where it can be dangerous to to enter. We have a. Uh, a cooperation with the police so if we need to go into these zones uh, we can get uh, the police to escort us in or uh, or help us out the union boss also said they need special equipment to be able to go with the police into dangerous areas equipment including uh, helmets and body armor while well, ambulances uh, the vehicles have to be reinforced well, Sweden's police force says the uh, problem is uh, the problem in the no-go zones is actually being exaggerated. That's despite numerous reports about violence and high crime rates in those areas. Gordon Grattich, uh, the head of Sweden's Ambulance Drivers Union, again says uh, those no-go zones are mainly populated by migrants. There is a, a mix, mixture of, uh, of different cultures and uh, uh, different people in this area, but uh, it's, it's mainly uh, immigrants. I think uh, personally uh, and from the union side, uh, we think there's a problem with uh, taking care of this, uh, these amounts of immigrants we have in Sweden. Uh, they have their own structures, uh, they have their own laws and they live uh, parallel to our communities. Uh, and maybe they feel uh, put aside. Or maybe they feel angry, we don't know, but uh, sometimes we don't feel uh, welcome in the areas, that's, that's quite clear.